What if I fail? Where does it, okay. Describe what that looks like. What does it taste like? Does it have a smell? Fuck no, it's not real. It's a fucking emotional thought, okay? It's your response to a negative fucking thinking of many, many times never happened. How many what if thinking events have you had just this fucking week that you worried about, you had anxiety about, you stressed about, that never even fucking happened? And all that time and the energy that you wasted and concern that you applied to that, how much better would you have been if you had taken that, redirected it into something positive and saying, see, you're not effective anymore. You can't hold me back anymore. I'm afraid to lose ICT. I'm afraid that I'm going to take a loss. Okay, go out and lose. Go out there and lose in a manner where you can absorb it. Very, very small, very, very small little paper cuts. And every time you have one, write down what you were expecting to see in the chart, how you felt, and at the end, how do you feel now that it happened? You're going to get to your root cause of what's causing you to take those trades. And it's going to be many times impulsiveness. Top of the list, it's impulsiveness. So how do you correct impulsiveness? You have a fucking plan with rules that said, I can only trade at this time. If this appears in the chart, if it's not in the chart yet, I can't fucking touch the chart. You can't push the button. I can't do shit. I cannot risk more than a micro lot, single micro lot. That's how you should be measuring your results right now. Before you even start trading with a demo, your mindset should be, I'm only looking at the lowest denominator. The lowest thing I can make money on, that's the lowest amount of leverage. How many have you done that? Chances are probably not even 10% of them.